Traffic Manager is an essential mod for city skylines. It gives you much more control over the way vehicles move along your roads and has some really cool features. While this mod has a ton of depth to it, today we're going to focus primarily on how to improve your intersections. If you're new here, I'm Diana. Let's get started. So let's say you have an interchange with two lights and traffic backs up, getting stuck between them. With Time Traffic Lights feature, you can sync up the lights, even allowing for dedicated lights for protected left turns. All you need to do is select the Time Traffic Light setting in Traffic Manager, also known as TMP. Pick your intersection and click Set Up Time Traffic Light. Once you do this, click Add Step. Each step is one cycle of lights. Here, you will get a menu to control the timing of lights. The min and max time gives some boundaries as to how long the light stays in that phase for. The recommended setting is typically a minimum of two seconds and a maximum of 12 seconds. This should give traffic enough time to clear both lights before it changes. However, your results may vary. When zooming in on the intersection, you'll see lights on each side and you can click on these to control which lights are red and green. And change mode lets you add left and right turn controls for each light. In most parts of the US, right turns in red are permitted. So for these intersections, I've set all right turns to green, no matter what else the rest of the traffic is doing. When you're done with one phase, click add, and it'll add the phase to the list here. I've created dedicated left turn lights, which can be done by making through traffic stopped and then making the left turn lights green. When you've completed the entire series, be sure to click start to activate the sequence. If you have two junctions attached to the same time light, both will switch phases in the same order. So be sure that both junctions have the same general pattern of lights. This functionality works on tram and bus roads as well, and you can create priority transit signals using this option. This allows transit vehicles its own light cycle, which can help buses and trams to move faster through the city. Up next, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to build a partial cloverleaf interchange. So click here to watch, and don't forget to subscribe for more quick tips.